In 1963, Sandy and I moved to Rome, Georgia, so I could attend Georgia College. We had a six-month-old baby, Don Jr. I was given a job at A&P in a grocery store, and that was going to be our sustenance for the next years or so. My boss at that store was a man by the name of Mr. Paul Webb. I had not been working there many weeks until he assigned me the responsibility of stocking the shelves where all the glass items were, olives in particular, little glass bottles like tubes of olives. I was stacking olives one day when one of the jars tipped over, thanks to my clumsiness, and then after that one, it was like a cascade of olives all over the shelf and all over the floor with broken glass. And I thought to myself, oh, my goodness, I've not even been here a month yet, and I'm about to be fired. Mr. Webb heard what was going on, came over, looked at me, and he simply said, let me show you how to clean this up. He got some cardboard boxes and some pieces of paper, and he began to sweep the olives into the box. And he says, that's what you do. And so I thought, hmm, he must not be going to fire me. And he did not fire me. He simply showed me how to correct the mistake that I had made. Very gracious. I've never forgotten Paul Webb for his kindness to me and for his grace. But I learned something from it too. There are times in my life when I do worse than just kick over the olives. Now, I'm sure that you have the same problem that you have broken your share of olive jars and the olives are all over the floor and perhaps worse, but Jesus comes along and he says together, we can clean that up. And so Jesus bends over and he bows, puts his arm around us, and then he says, together, we can straighten out this mess. Thank you, Jesus, for people who are good examples. And thank you, for showing me how to clean up the olives in my life from the messes I have made. Thanks for watching. Don Howell, Minute Message.